would you give to an already established channel like with one two three four million subscribers mm -hmm. how to like 10 exit like increase it um without losing maybe yeah that's where it's very specific like channel by channel you can't give general advice okay yeah because if i do millions of creators are gonna see this and then they're gonna do it and i'm gonna fuck them over you know oh, i see i see so let's say i have like two million subscribers on this podcast yeah like how would you 10x that without sacrificing what it is 10x your stuff does it matter so we, you've talked about what success yeah I, it, I'm, it's I'm, different I'm, for everyone like is 10xing your definition of success no well then it's gonna, right off the bat it's hard because if you don't give a shit about 10xing it's even harder <laughs> than 10x uh, he does this because he likes helping people that's one thing okay. i've found throughout this day every time i talk data it's so funny with him because it's like you know you could do this to get more views and he'll just be like playing <laughs> I'll be like that doesn't register anything yeah. he just like doesn't care which is it's really cool. I'm really nervous about that I'm really nervous about the numbers affecting because it's so fun uh, yeah it's so fun to focus on the numbers and I'm, I'm, I'm really worried about that but at the same time you should be cognizant of that because you've created not just some of the most watched videos but some of the most amazing videos ever so it's th there's a strong correlation there it's not like you're selling your soul to make a highly viewed yeah. video it's actually if you look at the metrics it helps you understand what is compelling and not. And so I feel like I am, uh, I, f I feel like there's some value to investigate what work, when people tune on and when not, yeah. to be date more data driven, even on podcasts. But I'm really afraid of well, that. On the flip side, I think part of the appeal is that you don't care about that kind of stuff. But there, there could be stuff that doesn't have to do anything with that. And it has to do with stylistic choices of lighting and cameras, or maybe with, uh, um, for example, topics. Yeah. You know, like uh, even what you've asked me here is like different than what most people ask me. Yeah. So it could be. The, I mean, and, and it'd be nice to understand that. But yeah, again, I'm worried about it polluting the. At the end process, of the day, it's, it's this is a true case of it's your own intuition. Like yeah. you know your viewers better than anyone else. What, it's it's no, whatever. See, I'd like to push back on that. I really don't. You do. I do. Who else? Name one person who knows your viewers better than you. Uh, somebody that looks at numbers of podcasts. No, you know your viewers. You know. You're the only. How many episodes have you done? Uh, three hundred and fifty. Exactly. But I'm not. Paying you're, no, you're the only one who's watched every second of all three hundred and fifty of them. Probably. Okay. That's just. That's just not. No. Well, you I do. haven't. But the. Okay. Cause, well, because you did it, so you do know what's in all of them. It's sure. Your but, content is you. People. <laughs> I'm telling you, you do, and this is just one of those moments where you're an intelligent guy, and you just have to trust your like instincts. Like, just think, what is the typical ex viewer, and what do they want? I don't think like that. My but that's all you would have um, to do. And whatever your gut tells you, that would be the best guess. You don't know what the typical viewer is, though. I don't. I don't because to investigate that would be very, very difficult. And then you have to start looking at the numbers. You have to start to like consider demographics. Yeah. The only way I know that anybody even watches it is because I'll, I'll sometimes run into people, like when I run along the river, and they'd be like, I love you, Lex. It's like, okay, well, that that's a, <laughs> that's a data point. And they're yeah. like cool people. But, you know, I don't know. Any, like, I don't have any other... Um, it's difficult, man. It's difficult to know. It's difficult to know who listens to boxes. It's difficult to do. You have a sense of who's. I mean, like you're so huge that everybody watches. Yeah. Uh, but no, I still podcast. do. I'd say if you were to just put a gun to my head and you're you're like, all right, we're yeah. gonna pick a random person that watched your last video, and you have to like roughly guess what they are, and if you're not close, we'll kill you. I would say probably like a teenager that plays video games. Like some some like that would be probably the typical one. And then there are people that are maybe a little bit younger. A lot of people that are, are older as well. But in a ramble, random sample size, yeah, it's probably like a, a male boy that plays video games. Like, that's the best way I would describe it. But I don't try to pertain to him. I just make whatever I think is interesting and good content. Um, and this is what we were talking about before. Even though, hypothetically, 35 to 40% of my audience is uh, women, which is, you know, less than a majority, if we get 100 million views a video, that's still 30 to 40 million females that watch every video, which is probably the largest... Uh, you know, views per video for, for women on the whole platform, which you wouldn't think that, you know, uh, like I can't think of a single other creator that gets more women to watch their videos than that. Um, and so it's just like anything, even like people above the age of 30, even if it's only like three or 4%, that's still three to 4% of a hundred million views is a lot of people that age. So we, we hit a large group of, uh, of kind of every demographic, if that makes any sense. So what, what if we look at other, maybe more challenging kinds of channels or not. But if we look at educational, for example, like lectures or if we look, yeah, educational, it could be short videos. Like yeah. how would you 10X that? 
like uh, something on uh, robotics, on biology, on science, on engineering, on all, all yeah. that. I, that's um, more educational focused. We would honestly just have to pull the because it's the same way. If, if you went to Gordon Ramsay, you said, "How would a new cook cook better?" And, you know, it's like oh, you so gotta, even then, that's not even specific. Like, you have to go channel by channel. You really do, or I'm, I'm giving horrible advice because yeah. if there was these just golden rules, everyone would do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if there's these magical little principles. Um, How quickly, when you look at a channel, can you kind of give advice? Yeah, it's it's like surface level at the start, and then the more if we watch ten videos, I feel like I'd have a good profile, and I could tell you. In my opinion, you know, when, especially once I look at the analytics and I get more ingrained in like, okay, the typical viewer is this, they're from here, yeah. here's how they're feeling, you know, because there are people who make videos for rednecks and like the rednecks taste of content is just so much different than obviously women watching makeup videos, which are so much different than, you know, teenage boys watching a Minecraft video. They're just all different. So the biggest thing you have to do is put your head, your head in the headspace of the viewer and see the content how they would. Because if you just try to only give your taste, which is what a lot of people do, and things from your perspective, it's very biased and it's just not going to work for everyone. And that's actually how you do more harm than good, which is something I'm very careful of. Yeah, but at the same time, just generating a lot of ideas. I think the first time I've talked to you was on Clubhouse, actually. Yeah. And I mentioned something about robots and like almost immediately went to generating a bunch of ideas around oh, yeah, robots. Easily. Uh, it's just a hundred robots versus a hundred humans. Yeah. yeah. You, How you, far can a robot throw a potato? Or... I think your idea, like I think the first idea was because you just said so many ideas I never even thought of, but it's, it's, it's it shows the value of uh, basically brainstorming with people that think differently. But at the end of the day, my ideas are probably, you know, might lean towards some people a little bit younger than your audience. Like some of the stuff. Could I, be. Yeah. But there's still the ideas. Like I think the first one you said, cause we're talking about a uh, quadruped, like a uh, robot dogs, you said to replace a biological dog with a robot dog and see if the owner notices something you were just quickly brainstorming different yeah. ideas of like how this was years ago i remember yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is just i mean it's like oh yeah i never really thought about that kind of so it's the basic the tension between what does it take for a robot and our ai system to replace the, the biological systems that we uh, the biological creatures that we yeah. we love in our lives yeah and but like that was like the um the pace of idea generation was the thing that struck me today and in general it's like that's how you get at good videos is you keep keep the it makes, it's much easier to make a video around a good idea obviously than a, a bad one like it, you just send yourself up for success okay so that's for uh 10xing already popular um channel what's the hardest number you said uh the numbers that matters click through rate average view duration and, and uh surveys what's the hardest number to uh, optimize for probably surveys you know do you have any do you have an insight into the surveys at all no not really but if you just click on a bunch of random videos online you'll eventually get a survey was this video transformative heartwarming inspiring what people rate does make a difference um and it's like you can get people to click a video you can get them to watch it but you can't really fake whether or not they're satisfied like yeah. they, they don't lie the service you know um you know maybe one person here and there might troll but once you aggregate enough it's a pretty clear telltale of the video so either you're making a great video or you're not. What is it? 